Okay. I had some really crazy something happen to me recently and it's really hard for me to ignore. So I just want to bring it up and ask y'all what your thoughts are because do you believe in God? I know this is like a touchy subject, but I was raised going to church, things like that, and like I just didn't really, I struggled with like what I believed in or whatever since then or since I've been like an adult. So I have recently hit a wall where like I am just like insanely lost. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I was doing PR. I thought it was like my calling and like then, you know, it's not that it isn't, but um, it's gonna be hard to get into. I'm tattooed and I'm, you know, whatever. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. long story short, or actually not even a story at all. But so, okay, the other day, so I'm like, sorry, I'm like ADD, but I seriously thought I was gonna be driving back home to Houston and going to live at my mother's and like reassessing my life because I didn't know what I was doing. My boyfriend moved to New York and I miss him and I was like, maybe I'll do PR in New York. And um, yeah, so I was just lost. And my mom said, you know, maybe it's time for you to ask for help, you know, from God. And um, I don't know, when she said that to me, I don't know, I just felt like kind of weird about it. And I kind of felt like maybe she's right. I don't know, like, how do I feel about this? Like, I don't know how I feel about this. So then um, the next day, my boyfriend tells me that like, we don't have a place in New York until December. And I was like already planning on packing my stuff and like subleasing my place here in LA, and, like going to Texas for a month and then going to New York and like getting a job, PR, whatever. And he told me that and it shattered me. I was just like, ugh, just another like curveball. It sucks when you think you have something figured out and then like you really don't. So I called my best friend Holly and I was just like, I'm a wreck, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm running out of money. I don't have a job, you know, I've built my life in a way that, you know, being a social media influencer and not sticking with that and like I quit modeling a lot a while back and like I haven't really been active with my clothing company, The Blonde Locks, because I don't feel inspired and I just am in the struggle and like the whole world is in the struggle, I get it, so like I try not to feel too sorry for myself because there's a lot of bad shit going on. But, hey, no. Um, sorry, dog fight. Uh, anyway, so yesterday I called Holly. I was really upset and like just in tears, didn't know what I was gonna do. And then um, she was like, why don't you come to this church thing with, it, with me and our friend Crystal? And I was like, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know what? Maybe it's time, maybe I need to give it a try. Like, at this point I need to try anything because I don't wanna go back home and like, I need a sign. I need to know what my path is and like, what I should be doing and like working towards because I have so much to give and like, I don't know where to put it. So it just has me like, in inner turmoil. Like, it's like, Every day I wake up and I'm just like, what the F am I doing with my life? Like, I'm 32. Get it together, girl. So, anyways, I go to this church thing. Sorry. I go to this church thing and it was, it was cool. And, 
yeah, I mean, it was just nice to be there with my friends and like, then they started singing and I just like started crying. You know how music can just like affect your soul, like in a way that like, you can't explain. So I was in tears and I like grabbed both of my friends' hands and like, I just felt like overwhelmed and I was just like overwhelmed and lost and like, I just broke broke I just broke like as that they're singing in church and like I just broke down as any lost human being would I guess and yeah I guess I asked God for help like I don't know I ugh, this sounds so crazy to me like asking God for help like what like you can't do this on your own I don't get it do you believe in God like I'm so confused Anyways, so like we leave church and you know, obviously I still feel like lost, but like, you know, I don't know, I just figure something, something will happen, something's gonna come. So 30 minutes after I leave, 30 minutes after, ay, okay, okay. 30 minutes after I leave from my friends and stuff, um, I get a text message from Holly from it was a screenshot of an email that she got from somebody who she knows that owns a PR company that she sent my resume to okay stop sit and I have an interview tomorrow I don't know if I'm gonna get it but to me this is a sign this is a sign that cannot be ignored and it has got me questioning everything. Like, what are you, don't, wouldn't you say that this is a sign? Like, you're asking like for help, you're lost, and then like, you have no direction, you don't know where you're supposed to go, and like, do I pick up my brand? Do I like try to model? I don't know, I'm too old, or like, whatever. Like, what is my purpose? Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like. Guys, like that is such a, oh, eesh. I can't even express. I mean, we all go through it, I'm sure. Like those of you who have it together and like know what you want from like day one, I can't even imagine what that life is like. Like, oh. But anyways, so yeah. She emailed and said, thanks for sending me her resume. I actually have a paid internship coming up. Um, I'll reach out to her directly. And here I am, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great news. Like my friend and I were both like in shock. Like the timing is way too crazy. The fact that like I had just broken down in church and like just, oh, I, I mean like, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. It's just so, I have no words, honestly, but it's a door that I'm going to walk through and like, I couldn't be happier right now. So yeah, I have an interview tomorrow. It all happened really fast. They called me today. So I'm thinking, gosh, I hope that it starts soon enough to where I can start making money and not have to leave California. And... They called me today, set up the interview for tomorrow, and hopefully I nail it. I guess I'm sure I'll keep y'all posted, but yeah, I'm sorry. I just had to like tell my story because, and I know this is kind of getting lengthy, but like, I'm still in shock, like the way that the world works. And I believe in fate and stuff like that and I didn't know if I believed in God but like there is a big part of me that's saying maybe I should believe right now Ugh, I don't know do you believe in God like what I don't know okay um, I guess that's it <laughs> bye let me know in the comments below if you've had any experiences like this that have involved the man upstairs because I want to hear if you have a testimony like that like please tell me because I'm interested I want to know what you've been through and like if you believe in God or if you don't believe in God why 
So, yeah. Bye, guys.